Hey guys, Mr. Johnny here. In this video I want to show you my PCB drill press which I made of a toy microscope. You heard me right, that was a toy microscope. It's all plastic, as you can see. This silverish color is actually a plastic, it's not even a metalized plastic. Very cheap crap, but works quite well for me. Hard for this is of course the electric motor which I don't have even an idea where it came from because I had it laying around on a shelf for a long long time I don't even remember where it supposedly can come from but anyway, it's not a po point so the wires from that motor which has an Freewheeling diode on it goes go here to this terminal block which I used to disconnect the thing because I can slide it out like that. I can move it like all the way up, take it out and use it as a to as a hand operated drill which is sucks, completely sucks, especially if you use carbide bits. Anyway, so the wire goes here over to this little board this little board works magic which you will shortly see this board contains two ICs one of them is TL032 as you are able to see and that 3 pin device is LM317 in short this is a so-called smart drill controller I will link to a schematic of this device you can find in the description so I am gonna explain all the thoroughly what it does you will see it in action that will a video worth thousand pictures so these nails are here just to provide some sturdiness for the table because as you see it's a toy, it's, it's a toy, it's flimsy but these nails provide some degree of, actually quite a nice degree of stability here is an on off switch and here is a receptacle if you will, a socket for 230 volts AC because right in the base a power supply is located as you can see from this ferrite transformer and a couple of electrolytics here's a switch terrible soldering terrible bodginess but you know what You can see that the power supply is actually tacked together again in Denix SMD fashion. <laughs> eh, why not? It works. I actually didn't plan to use this power supply for this application, but it just came out to be appropriate for the job. So I say let's try to drill some prints and secret board. Okay, and I forgot to mention all the links, of course, to a schematic of the smart drill, to a schematic of the power supply, you can find in the description as always. And there, I forgot to mention one more detail. I have included these five millimeter LEDs to light up the table, which you will see right now. Let's go drilling. The drill, by the way, is one point three millimeter car carbide bit which I use for the wire pads so let's go without further ado it's drilling time hopefully you will be able to see it I'm not sure though 1.3 millimeters no trouble this glass fiber board is quite thin but still I love this board the copper clad this copper clad board is awesome because it's the glass fiber is so thin 
that you can see the tracks on the component side, which is very sweet, in my opinion. All right, let's do a few more. As you see, it has no trouble whatsoever. Even these chunky holes. Here are these two. And right here. All right, let's switch drill bit to 0.8 millimeter. And then I'll switch to one millimeter for the rest of the stuff. I'm gonna use 0.8 millimeter for the ICs and for the small resistors. I'm gonna use one millimeter for rectifiers and so on and so forth. Okay, guys, that's about as macro as it's gonna get. The phone is really just almost touching the thing. All right, let me switch it on. Oh, light washes it all out. Hmm, wait a second. All right, much better. I just sticked, taped the LEDs with electrical tape. See how easy it is? And that's it. Vroom! And by the way, can, can you see the action? It idles on a, on a low speed, but as soon as you load it up, it revs up. That helps, because at lower speeds you can aim much easier. But again, if you touch the board itself, it will rev up, because there will be a load on the motor. Very sweet little second. Okay, let's drill the resistor side. And one millimeter. Okay, one millimeter. Let's do a few more holes and I will just make the rest of camera and at the end of this video you'll see the finished board. Completely made. By the way, that's a, again a link switch. 304 LNK 304 IC based uh, bug boost power supply mains fed you can see live in neutral and 13 volts out on these two pads marked plus and minus this is not isolated supply but in application I plan to use it it's ain't gonna be a problem so let's drill some holes shall we Oops, bumped the camera. Sorry. I think you get the idea that it works marvelously for what it is. Alright, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. See ya.